Good morning, this is Sports Center. I'm Matthew Merlino. Here's what is happened and happened in the past night. We'll start with college basketball, your Friday scoreboard semifinal day for many a Power 5 tournament in men's college basketball. This is championship week. Number 7, Duke took down Miami, 80-76 in the ACC tournament. Villanova took down 20, number 20, UConn. Villanova's ranked number 8, 63-60 in the Big East semifinal. In the Big 12 semifinal, a very close one. Number 14, Texas Tech taking down unranked Oklahoma, 56-55. And in the Pac-12 tournament semifinal, number 13, UCLA taking down number 21, USC, 69 to 59. Over in European soccer, it's halftime in the Premier League. Liverpool beating Brighton at the moment. Halftime in the English League Championship as well. Barnsley 1-0 over Fulham. 24 minutes in in a La Liga game between Levante and Espanyol. It is tied at 0-0. Uh, 9 a.m. today in the Italian Serie A, Salern- Salernitana against Sassuolo uh, at 9 a.m. today. 9.30 a.m. in the Bundesliga, two games, Freiburg versus Wolfsburg and Hoffenheim versus Bayern. In the NBA scoreboard this past night, we had the Memphis Grizzlies take down the visiting New York Knicks, 118-114. to The Charlotte Hornets destroyed the home uh, destroyed the New Orleans Pelicans on the road 142 to 120. The Raptors took down the Suns on the road 117 to 112 and the Lakers took down the Wizards at home 122 to 129. Women's College Basketball Championship week. The Big 12 Championship quarterfinal home to the action we'll be covering in this small report. Number 21, Oklahoma, taking down unranked Kansas, 80-68. In the first quarterfinal, number 4, Baylor, taking down unranked Oklahoma State, 76-36. In the second, number 10, Iowa State, taking down unranked West Virginia, 66-60. And number 7, Texas, taking down unranked Kansas State, 72-65, Seventy-two to sixty-five. Those being the scores in the four Big Twelve Championship quarterfinals. The NHL scoreboard from last night: we had the Penguins taking down the Golden Knights five to two. The Blue Jackets took down the Wild three to two in a shootout final. The Islanders took down the Jets five to two as well, and in overtime, the Capitals took down the Canucks on the road four to three. At three p.m. today on ABC and ESPN Plus, the eighteen twenty-nine and ten. Philadelphia Flyers, with 46 points to their credit, take on the 40-12-5 Carolina Hurricanes with 85 points to their credit. Now, tonight we have UFC Fight Night on ESPN+. Plus Light heavyweight division uh, for the main event. It'll be 22-9. Tiago Santos from Brazil standing at 6-2 weighing in at 205 pounds and reaching 76 inches against Magomed Ankaliev, who has a record of 16-1 from Russia, standing at 6'3", weighing in at 205 with a 75-inch reach. In the Players' Championship, round one still suspended at TPC Sawgrass in Ponte Verde Beach, Florida, par 72 the purse, $20 million. Defending champion is is uh, Justin Thomas. Tommy Fleetwood, Tom Hodge, and Bryce Garnett, all six under par uh, in tied for first place. Kramer Hickok, Joaquin Neiman, Keith Mitchell, Anurban Lahiri, and Daniel Berger, all five under par, tied for fourth. Brian Harmon, Abraham Anser, Sam Burns, Taylor Pendrith, Kevin Kinzer, Dustin Johnson, Scotty Schaefer, Patron Kizere and Doug Gim all tied for ninth at four under par in the Players' Championship. We'll go on to our top stories now of the sports world. The Carolina Panthers will make an aggressive offer for Deshaun Watson as soon as the Houston quarterback waves his no-trade clause for them to negotiate with the Texans, a league source told ESPN. An issue with having the clause waived is not anticipated, the source said. The Panthers attempted a trade for Watson early last offseason before reports surfaced of 22 civil and 10 criminal cases of sexual misconduct against a three-time Pro Bowl selection. 
They backed off after that. A grand jury on Friday in Houston voted not to indict voted not to indict Watson on the criminal charges, leaving only the civil suits with accusations of sexual assault and inappropriate behaving during massage sessions at the former Clemson's Star House. That increased interest from many teams in addition to Carolina, Seattle, which earlier in the week traded Russell Wilson to Denver, who also is expected to make a strong run at Watson, according to a source, New Orleans, Tampa Bay, New or- uh, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, Indianapolis, and Cleveland also reportedly are interested. Houston can agree to a trade at any time, but it could not be made official until the new league year starts at 4 p.m. on Wednesday. Greg Popovich became the all-time winningest head coach in the NBA with with 1,336 career victories. Popovich surpassed Don Nelson, who had previously held the record for most regular season wins, with the San Antonio Spurs 104-102 victory, over the visiting Utah Jazz last night. LeBron James continues to redefine the standard for what a star is capable of at such a late stage of his career. He's 37 and scored 50 points for the second time in his past three games in lifting the Lakers to a much-needed 122-109 win over the Washington Wizards on Friday. The win came six days after James scored 56 against the Golden State Warriors, which also which was also a victory for, for L.A., the rub, of course, is that the Lakers are 2-0 since the All-Star break when James goes for 50-plus points. They're 0-6 in the rest of their games and are still only number 9 in the Western Conference at 29-37. and In a season where the, when the Lakers haven't given fans much of a reason to, to want to pay tickets to see them, James received a rare MVP chant from a sellout crowd at Crypto.com Arena. He said he appreciated the reception considering how often boos have been heard in the building. Oklahoma slugger Jocelyn Allo playing in her home state for the first time since high school hit the 96th homer of her storied career Friday night to become the all-time leading home run hitter in NCAA softball history. Allo's record-breaking homer came in the sixth inning of the undefeated and top-ranked Sooners game against the host University of Hawaii in Oklahoma's third matchup of the Rainbow Wine Classic. Allo, whose full name is Jocelyn Aloha Pumahanha Allo, grew up about 30 miles north of the Hawaii campus in the small village of Halua. About two dozen family members were part of the overflow crowd on hand to watch her set the record. The homer, a two-run shot that put the Sooners up at 9-0, came on a 2-1 pitch from Hawaii senior right-hander Ashley Murphy, who entered the game having thrown just two and one-third innings this season. She threw a curveball up and out over the plate, and Alo crushed it 40 feet above the 200-foot sign in right center field. The Premier League has disqualified Roman Abramovich as a director at Chelsea, the league said today. Chelsea's assets were frozen after the UK government imposed sanctions on owner Abramovich. The world and European nations were frozen as an asset. The world and European champions were frozen as an asset of Abramovich, who was who was one of seven Russian oligarchs to be targeted amid the war in Ukraine, along with Igor Senshin, Oleg Deripaska, Dmitry Lebedev. Alexi Miller, Andre Kostin, and Nikolai Tokanarov. The Blues were given a license to continue fulfilling fixtures and paying staff, but are relying on cash reserves to function, with various revenue streams halted as part of government action on Abramovich because of his alleged ties with Russian President Vladimir Putin. A Premier League statement read, quote, Following the imposition of sanctions by the UK government, the Premier League board has disqualified Roman Abramovich as a director of the Chelsea Football Club. The board's decision does not impact on the club's ability to train and play its fixtures, as set out under the terms of a license issued by the government, which expires on the 31st of May this year. All-star left-hander Carlos Rodon and the San Francisco Giants are in agreement on a two-year, $44 million contract That includes an opt-out after the first season. Rodon set a career high for wins with the Chicago White Sox in 2021 in going 13-5 with a 2.37 ERA and made his first All-Star team. His 24 starts and 132 and two-thirds innings are the most for him since 2016, well beyond his totals in the previous two years combined. Missouri fired men's basketball coach Quanzo Martin after five seasons, the school announced yesterday in a move that drew criticism from several of his colleagues throughout college basketball. 
Martin took over the Tigers in 2017 after three seasons at Cal, with Missouri hiring him to replace Kim Anderson. The Tigers reached the NCAA tournament in Martin's first season and then went to the tournament again in 2021, but they failed to advance out of the first round in each. This season, Missouri went 12-21 and overall and 5-13 and and in SEC play. The Tigers' season ended Thursday with a 76-68 loss to LSU in the SEC tournament. Missouri lost seven of his last nine to end the season. In five seasons, Martin went 78-77 and overall. And popular WWE superstar Big E suffered a broken neck in an accident during the live broadcast of WWE SmackDown on Friday night, he said on social media. The former WWE champion took an overhead belly-to-belly suplex from fellow wrestler Ridge Holland during a segment and landed on the top of his head. It was clear immediately that something had gone wrong. Big E was removed from Legacy Arena in Birmingham, Alabama on a stretcher and taken to a local hospital, a scene that was not shown on television. In a video he posted to Twitter, Big E said he retained all feeling and movement in his limbs and extremities and said his strength level feels fine, but he said doctors informed him he'd, he broke his neck. It's unclear how long the injury will keep him out of action, though the possibility of him performing at WrestleMania 38 next month now seems slim. Biggie was wearing a neck brace in the video. That's all for Sports Center this Saturday morning. It's March 12th, 2021. Conference semifinal and final day in college basketball, NHL and NBA day. A lot of sports action coming up. I hope I'll be there to break it down for you at 6.30 p.m. or 6 o'clock p.m. For now, this is Matthew Merlino saying good day from New Jersey.